Probably because I don't have audio. So you guys should all be able to hear me now. Anybody hear audio on the feed? Okay. Good. So what things we're going to talk about today is we're going to uh, try to do these live sessions, I think, once a month. And uh, hey, Bill, can you get on this so I can see comments in that area when you get a chance? <coughs> What a good time is is for you to send comments. Becky, you're going to start our time clock. Uh, and I can answer questions. I do have a couple topics that we got here to talk about. Um, but So if you got any comments you want me to talk about or any questions about uh, technical de- difficulties you're having with the Garmin or anything like that, give us a call. Uh, Instagram. We just started doing Instagram what, last week or two weeks ago, I think. We're going we're gonna to try and ramp up our Instagram presence. If you're on Instagram, follow us at dusupply.com. Um, it's, I think, the at sign, dusupply.com. If you tag us in your post, if you could give us permission to repost your... your uh, yeah, I can see that. If you could repost your... You give us permission to repost your pictures. We'd like to share our customer pictures. There's a lot of cool pictures you guys have. Uh, so make sure you follow us on Instagram. And you know, if you tag us, see if you can, you know message us and let us have permission to repost your pictures. We'd, we'd happily share that to our, our viewers. Um, and then also we're going to do some Instagram giveaways. I think we got three of them planned once a week, Becca. Uh, yep. One, so, so starting Monday, we're going to have three weeks of giveaways. Um, all right. So <clears throat> if there's any questions, I know everybody's just joining in. We're seeing people start popping in here. Give us a question. One of the issues, and we just had a call about this today, is a uh, customer had a, a collar failure. Um, and we get a lot, of, a lot of people call us about, hey, my, my collar doesn't track. You know, what, why isn't my collar tracking? So we're going to talk about some of the things we want you to check when you're doing that. Um, some simple things and also some more advanced tracking that I'll, I'll go into detail today. Uh, we've got 25. Any questions yet before we start? All right, so first off, dreaded phone call comes in, W, hey, my collar doesn't work. Got it on the handheld, got the collar turned on, it doesn't work. Um, Can I get a collar, Bill? Uh, One of the things, the first thing we want you guys to check is there's a flashing light on the collar. And uh, I I shot a video of this, let me see if I can see this, but... There's a, a light. I just turned this collar on. And can you get that, Bill? You can see it's only blinking one time. It goes blink, 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 blink. Consistently one blink at a time. That means the collar does not have a GPS fix. Nothing's going to happen. This collar does not have a GPS location. It's not going to transmit its location. It's not going to work on your handheld. If I see one blink, 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 blink. A consistent one blink. I don't even look at my handheld because it's not going to work. What you want to see is you want to see this thing blink three times or two times fast. It'll go blink, 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 blink. It's like a cadence. If you see that, now the GPS knows where it is and it should start transmitting its location to your handheld device. If you got a triple blinking collar, so the, the collar is blinking three times, and you look at your alpha handheld and it's not picking that collar up, we want you to delete the dog off your handheld and just re-add it. Sometimes what happens is the ID numbers get switched. So this collar that's working fine is sending out its location on the wrong channel, wrong uh, time slot, wrong something. Basically, it's sending it out on a time that your alpha is not listening. So by repairing it, you'll get everything synced back together and... Uh, you will have it start working again. So I see one here says, uh, oh, that's Becca. Why does it keep... Okay, you got comments on this yeah, topic? Could, Brian, if you could explain what he's talking about, we would certainly... Okay, Brian, if you could explain... Uh, says, okay, what if I have a collar that never triple blinks? I have a TT15 Mini showing the last time out. So if it never triple blinks, the collar's not going to work. Uh, more than likely, it needs to get repaired, Brian. Uh, what happens is, is there's a wire in here. There's a couple things that can cause it, but normally it's, it's a wire that gets broken in here. Maybe a screw got loose and water got in the device. 
But if you don't see a triple blink, we, we, there's no, you're not going to get that collar to work. So triple blink is the first step in the whole system to get the collar to work. The call we just got today, and, I, and I've had this call several times, I've actually experienced it myself, is while you're out hunting, you'll see your dog stop updating. So it shows your dog in a location that the dog is not at. And what I want you to do when you see that is I want you to go to your, Bill, I got this right? Go to your dog info page. And these are the three things we're going to ask you about. So when you have a collar that's not working, first thing we're going to ask you is it triple blinking or single blinking. The next thing we're going to ask you is do you have communication, do you have GPS, and do you have battery? This is for the collar, not the GPS. So if in a situation where you have no GPS on your collar, full communication or one or two bars of communication, and good battery life, that is a situation where the caller lost his GPS fix. While out hunting, it's, it's kind of a, a nerve-wracking experience. I've had it happen where it shows your dog in a position that you think it was at one time, and it's telling you it's there. It's showing the dog icon. It doesn't show a question mark, but the dog is not there. What are you going to do there? So the, the things I want to be really clear about is if you have that situation, Communication, no GPS, and battery life. The communication is accurate. The GPS is, can, can happen if the collar got busted, maybe, maybe something bit it and broke the wire in there. That could cause this problem to happen. I've also seen it happen purely on software where the, the, the collar gets confused, cannot update its location, and is still sending out bad information on where it thinks the collar is. Call came in today, Eric, uh, out of uh, West, West Virginia. He was hunting. His dog had this exact same thing happen. Uh, what, I, what I instructed him is, is watch that communication bar. If it goes down, you're getting farther away from your dog. If the communication goes up, you're getting closer to your dog or a better signal. Don't use a big antenna. You know what I mean? Use your truck antenna to get you close, then get to a shorter antenna. Get, get to a, a, a good signal with a shorter antenna. And lastly, if you got full communication, take your antenna off and try it again. You should have about 100 to 150 yards with no antenna on your alpha. You should track these callers in a, in, a, in a little bit of distance with no antenna. So if you take your antenna off of your alpha and you're still tracking that dog at three or four bars, you're probably within listening distance or calling distance. You should start calling for your dog. You're going to get the updates, you're going to get treed, you're going to get bark indicators. All that stuff's still going to work. It's just going to tell you the wrong location. So uh, that's probably the number one reason that I'll get a text off hours or after hours is one of my buddies will have somebody that's experienced this problem. They'll call me, and so I'll have to, to make a phone call in. Um, when you see this, I'm going to go this one more time. Everybody should pay attention to this. If this happens to you, you're going to want to know this. Communication, no GPS, battery. Trust your communication. It is working, and it's telling you. So if it says the dog is 13 miles away, and you're getting four bars of communication with no antenna, it's not. the dog is not 13 miles away. It's a couple hundred yards away. So you got to trust that. That's the one way you're going to find your dog in that situation. There's, there's, there's no way to do a reset in the field. Hopefully, we'll... we'll get the products even better but I've worked on this problem for a long time and it's 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 one that we want to get fixed any questions we got any what's that <coughs> so if we don't have any of the information so that's a good point so the other the uh, other situation is is lost communication entirely this means the caller is either out of your range so you're not tracking the caller or the caller turned off there's a lot of different things that cause you to happen out of range. The antenna, antenna could be broken. You should check the antenna on your alpha. You know, you maybe broke your antenna on your alpha if you lose all your dogs. So those are the things, and I'm just going to recap. If you call us here at W, these are the things that are going to be helpful for us to help you solve your problem. Call in to say, my collar doesn't work. First thing we're going to ask you, is the collar triple blinking? Look at that blink sequence. Tell me how that is blinking. That's a, that's a clue for me to figure out what's going on. If you say it is triple blinking, I'm going to ask you, 
What is the communication? What is the GPS? And what does the battery on the collar look like? You know, if the, if the battery keeps showing dead, maybe you got a faulty battery. If there's no GPS and full communication, something happened with the GPS on the collar. And if you're not getting communications, it could be the antenna, uh, the collar not turning on, the collar turned off, you know, a, a myriad of problems. So, dead battery. Yeah. And uh, if you're getting a triple blink when you first start out, and your alpha is not tracking it, so you you uh, you have a, a triple blinking collar, and you go to your alpha dog page, and it shows nothing. It's not going to give you this message that says warning, lost communication. It's going to say zero communication, zero GPS, zero battery. Uh, the ID number may have changed on the collar, so what we want you to do in that situation is delete the collar off your dog list, repair it. Those are the things uh, we want you to try. However, and I want to stress this again, in this situation, don't delete the dog list because you're still tracking your dog. So if, if you know deleting the dog out of the dog list and re-adding it in this situation may not help you. All right. Good video. Any comments? Any questions? So I want to thank everybody. Hopefully these videos are a little helpful for everybody. Um, I know we're going to try to do a little bit more and a little bit more and try to um, make some videos on how to you know get a little more advanced in the tracking you know everybody knows how to turn them on and, and track your dogs I'm, I'm not gonna tell you how to hunt but hopefully some of these tricks and tips will help you find your dog if uh, if you have a GPS failure and and uh, it's not a fun thing to experience if you hunt enough you're going to see a collar failure it doesn't matter if you hunt with telemetry GPS whatever something's gonna happen back in the telemetry days I'd turn a collar loose without a battery bad deal GPS days I don't see a lot of errors in there, but occasionally, and I've seen this same error where the GPS locked up on the dog, and uh, you know, finding those steps hopefully will help somebody find your dog quickly before you can get back into service to give somebody a call and, and get this information. So, share this information. Please tell your buddies about this information because you could help your your buddy find a dog. Of course, the dog that always this happens on, it always goes off by itself and never stays packed up. It's it's a bad deal. So we got a question here. So Brett, uh, yes, you can. The answer is is no, but if you get the right tablet, you can. So and it won't sync wirelessly. So there's there's what's called base station, and maybe we should cover this topic because there's a lot of information about uh, companies that are no longer in business and, and what was promoted and whatnot. But we never did really like the base station. Um, platform very much is kind of hard to set up but to answer your question if you get a Windows tablet with the full running Windows version not uh, there's a couple early tablets they made I think 8.1 or something there's some different Windows tablets they made early on that can't take a full Windows program those tablets won't work Android tablets will not work iPad tablets will not work a Windows base essentially a Windows computer that's a tablet you can put Basecamp on it, and if you connect your cord, your power cord, to the Alpha and plug in the USB to that tablet, you can go into a program called ba uh, a, a, a mode on the Alpha called Base Station Mode. It's free from Garmin. You don't need to, to spend hundreds of dollars on a, on a system, and you can watch your dogs on your computer. So you can do it on a laptop, and you can do it on specific tablet systems that are full Windows computers basically they're a tablet but it looks like a tablet but it acts like a computer is, is essentially the the question does that answer the question we had Brett so yes you kinda can you gotta use a cord a full Windows tablet it's called base station if you got any questions Google base station Garmin base station you'll see some requirements it's it's pretty simply simple to set up um, but there's some issues with maps and it doesn't follow the dogs and you know there's just it's not as smooth as the, as the drive track it, yes you can get a bigger screen but the, the drive track we felt was an easier way to go for most of our customers because it's easier to easier to use that help. okay
if you got any more questions, like I said, there's a lot of information on that. You know, I think the company that used to promote that was called GPS Dog. They're not in business no more, but they would go buy a, a, a refurbished tablet and put all the pieces together and sell a package that essentially was was a free system, but you know they were selling you the right hardware, so uh, that works. Okay, so we covered uh, some failures on callers, uh, a really advanced tracking, like I said, using the communication, if you're just joining, uh, using the communication to find your dog, really important. I, I can't stress enough that that is a really much needed tool if you have this experience this problem. Um, we're going to do some more Facebook Live videos, so we're going to try and do one once a month. Uh, we'll do it that way. Instagram, follow us on Instagram, dusupply.com. We're going to do some giveaways. Is there anything else back before we wrap we it up? Oh, we got a question. Okay. Um, one is a good one. It's about Zoom. So, is any advice on the alpha backing out of the Zoom screen to a zoomed out view of the USA every five minutes? Okay. So, Eric, a couple things. First, update your software. There was some early software versions that would cause that to happen. Uh, they were last year, a year and a half. So if you, it, old software, we, you know, we want to definitely get your software updated, make sure we're not dealing with that problem. The common issues that cause that to happen are what they call Zoom to dogs and Zoom to contacts. I think in our help section we, we cover some of this. Go to, uh, do we even have a, a picture on that, Bill? Um, Anyways, if you go to your dog setting, uh, go to your map, the three bars on the menu, I'm going off of memory here so I may be a little bit wrong, the, the three bars on the bottom, go to dogs setup, look for an option called zoom map to dogs. Make sure that is turned off. If it says off, you want to click on it because that makes it turns it off. If it says on, don't click on it because that tells you you want to click it off. It's kind of backwards from what you think. If it says off, I believe it means that the zoom tracking is off. If it says on, that means you need to turn it off. So click on that, make sure that's on. The second place you want to check for a, a zooming problem is in your contacts. If you're tracking your buddy's alpha and you stop hunting with them, it's going to try and zoom out to, to show your buddy's alpha. So go into your contact setup and there's a zoom to contacts option. You want to also make sure that's turned off. So, all right. We get that question a lot. We're going to try and cover some of these questions that we get a lot. Um, uh, you know, it's really hard to think about it on the fly, but uh, every every video we're trying to at least have one tech tip that maybe helps somebody on more of an advanced level. You know what I mean? To like get into some of the details. We we do it a lot here. Um, it looks like there's another one, but it may have been something we covered earlier. What's that? It's Steve, and it says, "How come a TP15 can be working just fine when hunting, and then all of a sudden it quits working with no GPS?" Yeah, Steve, I'm going to back up and watch this video. Um, dog info page, no GPS, communication, battery. Um, so just touch it really quick. It could be a physical break in the wire between this box and this box. Uh, it could be a software issue. It could be water getting in the collar. Whatever it is, the collar has lost its GPS. Use the communication signal to track and find your dog. So if the, if the signal's high, go find your dog with signal high. If the signal's low, you're getting farther away from your dog. Watch the video again. We, I covered that, hopefully, not too confusingly in there. So I want to say thank you guys um, for, for putting up with us. You guys have been really good with uh, our business and supporting us. And uh, if there's any other questions, we'll, we'll take a couple, but we're going to sign up. Benjamin, what's that? Oh, you're gonna send us up. No problem. We'll get the, we'll get that handled for you. It's already taken care of. Already taken. So it's already taken care of. It sounds like. <laughs> All right. Last. I'm gonna I'm gonna push this Instagram again. Instagram. Do you supply? We're gonna do some giveaways. We'll probably have uh, three weeks. Every week we're gonna give a giveaway. I think a bundle. bundle of something. Um, and then I think we'll even have some callers on Instagram that are being given away. We're gonna do some fun giveaways and promote our Instagram account. Basically, what it's going to be is cool pictures that we got from our customers, maybe some pictures that we've taken, um, all about dogs and, and critters that we caught, they caught, and our customers caught. Facebook Live, it sounds like tentatively August 3rd, we'll do another session. I think we're going to cover the in-depth de details of the training setup, um, You know how to set up your trainings, what the options are, what they mean, uh, goods or questions answering that. If you have a topic that you want us to discuss, 
that would be helpful. Um, send us an email, send us a, a message, something like that, and we'll set up a Facebook, you know, put that on one of our agendas to talk about. Can you just like give us some compliments and thank yous on there? Compliments. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Thank you guys. So we appreciate it. We'll see you guys later.